Russian missiles cross into Poland during strike on Ukraine, U.S. officials tells AP. I was out there talking to my local falafel guy at lunch today, and I'm like, hey, man, love your product. Give your boy another. And then all of a sudden, my phone was a non-stop vibrating machine, and it was everything about what in the world going on. The missiles are hitting Poland. Who did it? Was it intentional? Was it an accident? Who sent them? And right away, the story started taking some wild, wild turns. And even if you look at what happened when this was first breaking, the market took a big hit. And then all of a sudden, people started to smell that it was a little bit more fishy than just Russia attacking Poland. And we actually see that in the market, the fact that the market was not buying at all. In fact, the market very quickly started to pop back up after the initial jolt of what in the world is going on. So this happened around midday today, if you live on the East Coast. And at first, this is what we knew. We knew that in Poland, two Russian stray missiles have just hit a farm in a town I will never be able to pronounce on the Polish side of the Polish-Ukrainian border. Kills two Poles. So unfortunately, people did lose their lives. My heart goes out to their family. But right away, it was in Russian, Russian, Russian. Might that be true? It might be true. But other people are saying that there's a little bit of conflicting information. So maybe it's russia maybe it's not and i personally find it to be hyper inappropriate in any way to spread that type of misinformation especially when we all know what's going on with russia and ukraine we all know that poland is in nato and all of a sudden if poland's attack especially by russia we're talking world war three so to the people out in the world who are trying to jump onto it just to get the initial likes and clicks and views and admiration let's kind of weigh out how quickly south that could go when you're talking about potential armed conflict that could ruin the entire world so here's what I found for you, just trying to find both sides of the information. So this is the picture of what happened. A uh, Polish reporter on blast tonight. My sources in the services say that what hit the town that I will never be able to pronounce is most likely the remains of a Russian rocket shot down by the armed forces of Ukraine. So not confirmed, but saying, okay, it might be Russian and they had a bracket. Maybe there was just like some sort of translation fix there or something. So right away, maybe, maybe not type of a scenario. And even the Pentagon at first, Pentagon spokesperson, were calling allies and partners to learn more about Poland. I'm like, okay, this was at 2.30 today after the other things I just showed you. I'm trying to show you in chronological order of let's feel it out let's see what's going on we don't want to make any accusations especially knowing what's at stake and then it didn't really seem to matter the pentagon says the u.s would defend every inch of nato territory after reports that russian missiles killed two people in poland oddly enough i'm not gonna actually talk too much smack on the president's administration here because the pentagon just said would defend every inch of nato and then it was business insider that threw in after reports that russian missiles so once again a lot of this concept of russian missiles this is early we don't know it very well could be russian missiles or other things could be going on because let's just be let, just hear me out for one second russians defense ministry denies russian missiles struck polish territory now all of a sudden it's getting conflicting. A am I saying that we should trust Russia's defense ministry as far as we can throw them? No, probably not. But also everyone almost instantaneously assuming it's Russia. Is that the best thing? Who knows? All I'm saying here is instead of right away saying it's this party or this party, maybe we should wait for actual evidence to come out. Is it Russia? Very possibly. Is it perhaps not Russia? also could 100% be going that way. Uh, according to some people on Twitter, we have information, debris inside Poland appears to be of a Ukrainian S-300 rocket. So is there a chance that in the actual armed conflict between Russia and Ukraine, that on either side, there could have been an errant missile that went off and accidentally landed in Poland? That's also a 100% possibility. What I would argue at this point in time is the fact that there was no follow-up attack. This was not the brainchild 
of a military strategist. Nothing important was attacked in Poland. It was right over the border. Dare I say, an accident. Whose accident was it? This doesn't seem like some sort of hardcore assault that says, yes, we are like happily declaring World War III or something like that. This attacked a random area that didn't really do anything. And then all of a sudden they're like blaming Russia. Other people are saying actually it could have been a Ukrainian rocket. And all I'm saying is let's maybe pump the brakes. I don't think anyone in the world actually wants WW Trace. And let's just wait and digest and see what's going on. And the reason I'm saying this is because that's exactly what the market did. At first on the reports, they're like, dude, missiles in a NATO country, not good. And then it quickly fell. And then if you look at the intraday chart, even Wall Street was saying, mm, maybe not as crazy as it is. Maybe we shouldn't be fear mongering. Maybe we shouldn't be war mongering. And the market quickly popped back up. Now, a lot of people are talking about Article 5. You probably heard this quite a bit back when Russia had first invaded Ukraine. Just so you know, this is the whole concept that if a NATO country gets attacked, that the other members basically have to act as if they were attacked and we have to all defend each other appropriately. Uh, the chance of this being invoked as of now, uh, just from what I'm seeing and listen to some of these war correspondents and whatnot, is pretty slim to none because like there's no continued attack or anything like that. Um, so I guess I just wanted to share this with all of you because it, it's so easy for mainstream media, social media, and everything like that to so quickly jump onto something without having all the facts because it seems like a grand story. And they're like, I gotta be the first to it. I gotta get those likes. I gotta get those views. I gotta be the person who's breaking it. And I get that. I myself, literally yelling at you through this camera, have been there before. I, I get the concept of wanting those views first. I get it. But then sometimes when you're trying to get those views first and it involves potentially many millions of lives across the globe, I think maybe this is crazy of me, but we owe it to the rest of humanity to try to get all the facts straight before the internet dogpiles onto one side or the other. Just a crazy thought, just a crazy thought of mine. But with all of this happening, do you know what it didn't stop? It did not stop the U.S. forking over a lot of money. White House requests $37.7 billion in new Ukraine funding, $10 billion for COVID relief. Roughly three quarters of Ukraine funding previously approved by Congress has already been spent with more slated to be used before the end of the year. First question there, what in the world have they been spending that many billions of dollars on? Prior to the midterm elections, congressional Republicans suggested aid to Ukraine could be cut were they to win the majority. So they're pretty stoked that the current power dynamic stayed essentially the dynamic within uh, the House, the Senate, and the presidency. Despite the easing pandemic, administration officials argue additional RONA-19 funding is necessary to prevent a potential surge in cases this winter. The fact that I am filming this on November 15th of 2022, and we're talking about billions of dollars being given from the U.S. to another country, $10 billion for COVID relief on November 15th of 2022? Doesn't this just seem like a reasonable story from last year? Like as if it would literally should have been 12 months ago? How much more is this going to financially impact not only the U.S., but the rest of the globe? At this point, people are going to get vaccines. They already got it. Like we are way past it. Like how long on a global scale, not just in the U.S., is this possibly going to be played out for? Like I feel like now we're getting to the point financially of like, that's a very real question. I, I get this kind of stuff if we're talking a year ago. Like, I get it. Like, yeah, like, let's stop it. But now in the end of 2022, blows my mind. Blows my mind.